Welcome to CBS This Morning. As we come on the air, CBS News can confirm several new details in the investigation into the Paris terror attacks. Sources say one of the men who attacked Charlie Hebdo said Saeed Karichi Kawashi received $20,000 from Al-Qaeda in Yemen back in 2011 to pay for the attack. The gunman who stormed a kosher market was on a U.S. terror watch list, but not the no-fly list. And we have confirmed that an urgent manhunt is underway for six other members of a terror cell. France's prime minister says the threat is still present. As French police search for suspects, four Jewish victims of the attack at the market were buried in Israel this morning. Elizabeth Palmer is in Paris where a police officer killed in the magazine attack is also being laid to rest. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm standing just on the edge of the in the Paris suburb of Bobigny. That's where, in just a few minutes, the funeral will begin for Ahmed Mirabet. He was the policeman who was killed so cruelly and publicly on the sidewalk outside the offices of Charlie Hebdo last Wednesday. Meanwhile, we've had a sneak preview of the cover of this week's Charlie Hebdo. Uh, predictably, it is provocative. Um, it, it, many conservative Muslims believe that any depiction of the Prophet Muhammad is blasphemous, especially if it's a lampoon. But that's exactly what's on this week's cover. He's holding the banner that's become the symbol of Charlie supporters. And the headline says, all is forgiven. The survivors of the magazine's staff produced it in borrowed offices. The cartoonist who drew the cover, known as Luz, missed the shootings last Wednesday because he was late for work. There are almost 15,000 extra police and military on duty in France, guarding what the government calls sensitive sites, while a huge manhunt is underway to track down what police believe are the terrorists' accomplices. This morning, France paid tribute to the three police officers who were killed last week. Nous vous faisons chevalier de la Légion d'honneur. All were awarded the nation's highest decoration, the Legion of Honor. While French President François Hollande offered what comfort he could to bereft family members. The Marabet family have appealed for calm. In fact, Marabet's brother said specifically uh, his brother, uh, the, the slain policeman, was a Muslim. But the men who killed him were not Muslim terrorists. They were terrorists, pure and simple. Gail? All right, Elizabeth, thank you.